Hello and welcome. In today's class, we will be solving the circular prime number program. This question appeared in ISC Computer Science 2016 practical paper. According to the question, a circular prime is a prime number that remains prime under cyclic shifts of its digits. When the leftmost digit is removed and replaced at the end of the remaining string of digits, the generated number is still prime. The process is repeated until the original number is reached again. A number is said to be prime if it has only two factors, one in itself. So let's try to understand this concept of circular prime with the help of an example. So consider the number 131. 131 is a prime number. Now if I pick the first digit of this number and place it at the end, the number becomes 311. And this also is a prime number. And then again, I pick up 3, the first digit, and move it to the end. Now it becomes 113. This also is a prime number. And if I repeat this process, if I pick the first digit again and put it at the end, I get back the original number. So 131 is a circular prime. We need to accept a positive number n and check whether it is a circular prime or not. The new numbers formed after the shifting of the digits should also be displayed. Here is another example. Consider the number 197. And in the output you can see as we are forming new new numbers by picking up the first digit, placing it at the end, each and every arrangement is being displayed. And then finally the message is being displayed whether it is a circular prime or not. So 197 is also a circular prime. Now 1193 is also a circular prime and here all the cyclic shifts are done and the new numbers are displayed also and then the message is displayed. And 29 is not a circular prime because when we pick up the first digit, place it at the end, we get 92 and 92 is not a prime number. So 29 is not a circular prime. So that's the question. Let's solve this question. So let's write the program. So here I have created a file circularprime.java. Let's start typing the program. So we start with the import statement. Then we create the class. Then the main function. And inside main, we create the scanner object. Now we ask for the number. Enter the number. So int num equals integer dot parsint in dot next line. Now we take a copy of this number in n so that we don't lose the original number and we take a boolean variable status and initialize it to true. So we are assuming that it is a circular prime. We are assuming initially that the number entered by the user is a circular prime and then later we will check or verify our assumption. Next, we start with a do while loop and we print the original number. After printing the original number, 
we check if it is not prime the number is not prime so we will have to create this user defined function it will return a boolean value based on whether the number is prime or not so in case the number is not prime then we change the status to false and then we take a string s and we convert the number into a string so for that we call the value of function and pass into it now we have to pick the first digit and place it at the end of the number so we remove the first digit place it at the end so for that we can write s is equal to s dot substring 1 that means the number leaving the first digit because we are not considering the number at index 0 we are starting substring with index 1 plus s dot carat 0 so the 0th character is placed at the end of the number and this is how we do the cyclic shift and then we put it back in n we have to convert it into integer once again so integer dot percent function is called and we pass the string to it and this will continue while the number the original number is not equal to n and then outside the loop we check the status and accordingly we print the message so if the status is true we print system dot out dot print and we print num is a circular prime else num is not a circular prime so the main function is complete we only have to create this prime function so outside main we write public static boolean prime int n let's take the count of factors as 0 and we run the loop from 1 till the number and if n is divisible by i so i is a factor so in that case f plus plus and then outside the loop we just return f equal equal to that means if there are only two factors for a given number that means it's a prime number so we are using the relational operator and we know that the relational operator always returns the value in boolean true or false so automatically this expression is going to return true or false and that's it our program is complete let's check the output so we compile and we execute let's say we enter 131 yes we can see all the cyclic shifts also and it is also printing whether it is a circular prime or not so yes 131 is a circular prime let's try 197 yes 197 is also a circular prime 1193 1193 is also a circular prime and if we enter 29 29 is not a circular prime so i hope you have understood how to solve the circular prime program if you still have questions you can get in touch with me through comments thank you for watching and see you in the next class